good afternoon girls today we are starting with the molecular orbital energy diagram of nitric oxide it's a heteroatomic molecule why it is heteroatomic molecule because it is formed by the combination of two different atoms that is nitrogen and oxygen so if you take nitric oxide it is formed by the combination of the atomic orbitals of nitrogen and oxygen so it is heteroatomic so let us see how it is formed and what is the molecular orbital energy configuration diagram calculation of bond order in this video so if you see the electronic configuration of nitrogen atom its atomic number is 7 so it has 7 electrons in it it is 1s2 2s2 2p3 so the electronic configuration of oxygen which has an atomic number of 8 is 1s2 2s2 2p4 so uh, nitrogen is contributing 7 electrons and oxygen is contributing 8 electrons towards the formation of nitric oxide so total electrons is 15 so the total number of electrons is 15 and these 15 electrons they are distributed in the molecular orbitals in the increasing order of their energy so it follows Aubert's principle Hans rule during the distribution of electrons in the molecular orbitals so now let us look in how this 15 electrons are arranged in the molecular orbitals so the molecular orbital energy configuration of our nitric oxide is as follows so sigma 1s2 then its higher orbital sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 followed by sigma star 2s2 pi 2p x2 equals to pi 2p y2 since both of them they are having same energy level I am representing it with an equal to sign then they will enter sigma 2p z2 sigma 2p z2 then you have pi star 2p x1 here we have to concentrate I will explain you at the end how it is going to affect the stability of nitric oxide so here we are writing the uh, atomic orbitals of nitrogen with its uh, electrons distributed in the atomic orbitals here we are representing the atomic orbitals of oxygens with electrons in it and in the middle I am representing the molecular orbitals I am representing the molecular orbitals so 1s2 of nitrogen is combining with the 1s2 of oxygen so there are four electrons these four electrons they are distributed in the bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding molecular orbital of uh, here uh, this 1s2 level so sigma 1s2 and sigma star 1s2 so first level we are finished then we have the valence electrons that is 2s2 and 2p level so 2s2 of nitrogen is combining with the 2s2 of oxygen so they are distributed in sigma 2s2 and sigma star 2s2 this is the bonding molecular orbital and this is anti-bonding molecular orbital now we have this p, p level electrons that is you know 2p3 of nitrogen is combining with the 2p4 of oxygen 2p3 is combining with the 2p4 of oxygen so totally there are how many electrons over here you know 3 from nitrogen and 4p electrons of oxygen they are distributed over here in pi 2px pi 2py and the other one in sigma 2pz so six electrons are filled over here now you have 
one unpaired electron over here one unpaired electron over here in this pi star 2px1 that is in the anti bonding molecular orbital level so we think that because of this uh, unpaired electron in this you know anti bonding molecular orbital it may you know the molecule may become unstable but the molecule of nitric oxide is stable why because this pi elect this electron you know uh, pi star 2px1 is not distributed on a single atom but it is distributed between both nitrogen and oxygen atoms so stability is conferred to this molecule now let us calculate the bond order of nitric oxide in order to know its stability and its magnetic nature so bond order of a molecule is equal to number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbitals divided by 2 so if we check the electrons so bonding molecular orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are number of bonding electrons in uh, bonding molecular orbitals is 10 so let us check for anti bonding so 1 2 3 4 and you have 5 so there are number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbitals is 5 so it is 10 minus 5 by 2 it is 2.5 because of this bond order it is stable enough and since it is having a unpaired electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital it is paramagnetic in nature and because you know only one uh, point is in it is having an unpaired electron in pi star 2p x level that is in the anti bonding molecular orbital it should become unstable but eventually it is stable because the unpaired electron is distributed over both nitrogen and oxygen atoms